You? Is anybody? There she is. That's Molly Goldberg, folks. A woman with a place in every heart and a finger in every pie. And now the makers of new does. That new kind of soap for everything right down your wash line bring you another visit with those good folks, the Goldbergs. Why, Mandy. You know, that young upstart Lula Bell is doing the wash for the Andersons next door. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I's mad because her washes look so clean and nice. What? You see, Lula Bell uses Duds. What's Duds? Why, it's a new kind of granulated soap that Procter & Gamble's making. Well, this Duds does everything in the wash. Work shirts, towels, rims, everything. What? One soap doing all three kinds of wash? Well, that's ridiculous. Well, Duds does, does it. Why, take them work shirts of Mr. Anderson. He gets them powerful greasy. Yes, I know. He works at that war factory now. Yeah, but with does, there's no hard scrubbing at all. I decline never seen no soap get clothes clean easier than does. Well, that's fine. But what about her white pieces? I hate to say it, ma'am, but I've never seen a whiter wash than this does does. The towels are just sparkling. Even the ones that Mr. Anderson wipes his greasy hands on. Well, seems to me our towels get plenty dirty, too. Well, that's why we these does, too. Honestly, I can't stand Lula Bell being so uppity about the white washes she gets with does. But, Mandy, did you say she uses this same does for rayons and nicer colored washables, too? You know, those colors need extra care in wartime, so they last longer. I knows that, ma'am. But Lula Bell says the store man done told her does is a lot safer for them nice colors safer than any of the four other big selling granulated soaps. I tell you, ma'am, this Lula Bell is ruining my reputation. <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy. If Does does all that, we'll use it for our wash, too. Yes, millions of women are changing to new Does. You see, Does is not just an improvement of an old soap. It's a new soap discovery. So try Does, D-U-Z, because even in the toughest wartime wash, Does does everything. And now, the Goldbergs. It's train time at the big station in New York. And under the vast roof, lighted by vast windows, the pygmy crowds are milling about. It wouldn't be easy to find anyone in the midst of all the hurrying people, but that's why Molly Goldberg is here. If you look hard, you can see her, alone in a sea of people. And her anxious glances, her searching eyes, tell us that something is up. All the goodbyes were said in Lastonbury, and Sammy left with his group for New York and the Army. But here is Molly, standing in this well of people, a hundred miles from home, and all alone. Listen. Excuse me, I... I don't know if I'm in the right place. This is the Pennsylvania station. I, I know the Pennsylvania... The information booth's over there. The information I know, but there's so many people I... I don't want to miss my son. He's going away today. Oh, but well, don't you know the train is leaving on? No, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't supposed to be here even. It, it was decided not to come to the station. You see, madam, we, we all made up not. Oh. We said goodbye last night, but I, I only wanted to take a little peekaboo. If, if Mr. Goldberg, that's my husband, Mr. Goldberg, if, if he knew I came. <laughs> when he went to the mill, I took a bus. I, I'll be home before he comes back. I, I shouldn't only miss my son. Oh, why don't you ask the Red Cap? He'll know where the boys are leaving from. Who, who, who should I ask? The Red Cap. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Now, I... Red Cap. Baggage. Red Cap right here. Red Cap right here. Red, red uh, Cap. Uh, can you tell me where the boys are leaving from? What track? Well, there's a sign right over there, madam. You see it? Oh, oh. Thank you very much. Baggage. Thank you very Thanks, much. lady. Baggage, sir. How about giving you a lift, sir? Baggage. Baggage. Red cap. Red cap. Baggage, sir. Can I help you, sir? Can you tell me where the boys are leaving from? Do you see that sign there, sir? Yes. Where can I stand to pick a boo? I don't want my son to see me. I wasn't supposed to be here. Well, sir, this is a pretty big place. You'll find some place to hide. 
Baggage? Thank you. Thank you. Baggage list? All right, sir. Get a red cap here. Carry your bag, red sir. Red cap? Yes, sir. Red cap? Yes. What train does Sammy Goldberg leave on? Sammy Goldberg? Yeah. <laughs> I've I never heard of him. But the boys is leaving on that track over there if you're talking about soldier boys. Yes, yes, the, the soldier boys. Bag, sir? You want a red cap, sir? Birdie, please. Bag, sir? Here's your red here cap, here madam. I'll carry your bag. Red cap, sir? Birdie, please. Oh, can't we make sure? If we stand here, we can't miss them. Does it cost anything if I ask him, or can't we make sure? You went to the information desk four times, and four times they told you here. The boys leave from here, so it's here. Maybe it's there. But he said here. Red cap. I'm walking away from you. A walk. Red cap. Here's the sign. Why do you have to ask questions? Where's the sign? Right there. Oh. Don't sit there. It's reserved for the USO. Seymour, don't make me nervous. I'm nervous already. You never liked Sammy. What's the matter? All of a sudden, you're so nervous. Who said I never liked Sammy? Don't be such a hero worshiper. Just because he's going into the army. Yes. Don't you think that's a good reason? Maybe I'd learn to love you, too, if you went into the army. You don't have to throw my limitations into my face. I'm in 4F. Can I help it? Oh, for pity's sake, is that Mrs. Goldberg? How could she be here? She wasn't supposed to come. Oh, for pity's sake, Mr. Goldberg. Where? He's not with Mrs. Goldberg? Over there. Where? Not together. I asked him if he was coming, and he said no. Oh, for pity's sake. Who else? Uncle David. They didn't want us to come. That's why they said, call her. She doesn't see us. Mrs. Goldberg. You call Mr. Goldberg. Mr. Goldberg. Mr. Goldberg. Mr. Goldberg. in the right place? Just where you are. Why, gracious. Gracious what? Gracious Why, what? Gracious, who told Mrs. Mendel's family was leaving? Gracious, Mrs. Mendel. Seymour, darling, the, the lady with the ribbon in her hair, she don't see me. Oh. Uh, darling, Mrs. Mendel, I didn't want Molly to be here, David. So she's here. So she's here. So she's here. Who told you Sammy was going, Mrs. Mendel? Mrs. Harkaway oh, told me. My. Oh, Sammy, a soldier, I can't believe. It. Hello, Uncle David. Hello, Mrs. Mendel. I'm Brady Schlissel. Hello, and this is my friend Brady Schlissel, and this is my friend Sammy Fingerhood. Uh, I'm very I'm very pleased to meet you. Uh, are we standing in the right place, do you think? Yes, yes. we are. Yeah. Oh, two wars in our lifetime, Mrs. Goldberg. Who thought it would come again? Uh, are we standing in the right place, Jake? We are. We are. We are. Of course we are. Two wars in one lifetime. Who suffers? The woman. And the man has a picture. I suppose. Aye, Hitler. The last war I was a bride. We were standing in the right place, Jake. We are. We are. We are. It wasn't so easy for a young bride. Aye, Hitler, Hitler. Jake, if we're not standing in the right place. We are. We are. We are. We are. My Joe was somewhere in France when my Bernice was born. What, what time is it, Jake? There's time. There's time. There's time. time. Who remembers the first armistice? Oh. Everybody went crazy in the streets. Aye, we should only go crazy again. We will. Aye, Hitler, Hitler. And Mussolini. And Hirohito, he's an angel. And Goebbels. And Goering and Himmler. And Bisley. And Streicher and Von Bock and Rommel and Toso and all of them. I think they're here. Oh, oh yes, they're here. 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 And are we in the right place? Molly, please. I, I don't see Sammy. Stay where you are. You can see them flying from here. Oh, Jake. That's why I wanted you to stay home. Are you sure Sammy's leaving sometime today? Please, Mrs. Mandel. I'll look on the left and you look at the right. Look left and right. I'll look over here. Yeah, I'll, I'll look over here. I'm looking here. Well, maybe we're in the wrong place. I see him. Where? There. 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 No, that huh? looks like Sammy. Oh, oh. oh. I don't see Sammy. Or maybe he passed already. Is that Sammy? There. Oh, oh Sammy. 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 Ma, Ma, I thought you, I thought you said you... Oh, gee, Pa. Goodbye, Pa. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, Uncle David. <laughs> Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye. I wish they'd reclassify me, Sam. <laughs> Goodbye, Seymour. Bye. I, I want to talk to you, Ma. Yes, Hamlet. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse sure. us. Excuse us, please. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Ma. You're... You're tired, Sam. 
Why is it crooked? You're right, Ma. I don't care if you don't know how to spell. You write. Don't let anybody write for you. No, darling. And you're going to be a good girl? Yes. Okay. Goodbye, Ma. Bye, Sammy. 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 Yeah, I'm coming. Sammy. 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 I think you have to go. Yeah, I'm Sammy. going. Sammy. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodb